While the controversy surrounding Dr. Kevin Smith deepens, we got a chance to look inside the church to see what it looks like um, following the aftermath of the killings we heard took place inside. Now follow me. First of all, I should tell you though, this tent is what greeted us first um, as we arrived here. Inside is messy. If you look, take a good look at the flooring, now there is mud, I suppose, from the heavy traffic before and after. The, the the alleged shooting and the incident that happened here. There are pieces of clothing on the floor, um, blood stains on some parts of the floor. Now we were told by many that the bishop would often tell people to refer to him as His Excellency. Now, this chair is one that would be befitting of an excellent person. On the arms, carvings of lions. Now, on his table, Clearly, his name tag written here, His Excellency Dr. Kevin O. Smith. And from where he sat, this is what the church looks like. The church is often referred to as the ark. When, when we came, we saw no animals inside. All the animals were outside. But this is what we saw. Food items, counterflow, sugar. We saw chicken all over. More rice, peas in this refrigerator, chickens, and it's, uh, the scent is emanating from it because the, the refrigerators are clearly plugged out. But clearly this is where he stored most of the things. Um, and, you know, days ago we heard that he would sometimes he would give food items, food packages to members of the Albion community. And... This is probably where he stored the items. Now to the back of the church, more mess. A bookshelf with all the books thrown out. Um, at first we thought this was blood, but on close inspection we realized that it was some kind of food coloring. A file cabinet, a file cabinet with files seemingly belonging to members of the church. It was open. There are signs that the church may have been ransacked by people looking for valuables. This table with the leavened bread and wine used for communion are among a few items seemingly untouched. These envelopes scattered all over the floor with the writings of the monetary contributions made by the congregants summoning US dollars and the blessings they expected in return. Back on the outside, more signs of chaos that happened on Sunday. Pieces of blood-soaked garments and chairs, we were told, that were knocked over by the congregants caused by the confusion that took place when the lawmen stormed the church. A few days ago, a church member told us the food scattered in a section of the churchyard were thrown out by the bishop. She says the bishop threw them out saying, they were not to be consumed because they weren't good for their bodies. As for the animals on the property, they have been removed by the Jamaica Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. A lot of animals were left back. A lot of them are loose. The budgies, lovebirds, etc. were let loose. I guess when they were doing the searching. But there's a large number of chicken, goats. I gather the cows have been released. So basically they have no food. They have no water. So our job is to take them. The goats, she says, were in excellent condition, but unfortunately, some of the animals did not make it. They're hungry. They're very hungry. And like I said, when we're feeding them, they nearly attacked us. Um, but there's also a few dead animals. But I think they've died because of no, no care. Mm. No care. Which are the animals? Which are the dead ones? Definitely birds. Birds don't do well without food and water for any length of time. Kirk Wright, TVJ News.